probably, if you watch my sleek Garden of Eden eyeshadow video, then you probably know this look. It's going to be a first impression. I don't know that I can really call it a review because I'm only going to wear it for today and probably not for the entire day. I don't wear makeup for the entire day. I wear it to go out and then I take it off when I come home. <laughs> um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte uh, Foundation 24 Hour Wear. It's their new one. Mine is in... 101 classic ivory. I normally have a very hard time buying drugstore foundations. I heard from the Taylor that this is very light. So we're gonna start by priming half her face. So you get the same kind of tube and everything. <laughs> this is the NYX green um, photo ready, photo loving primer. Not the Smash Mix photo ready. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this on half my face. That much on my fingers. And let's do it on this half. I'm going to be using a flat top foundation brush to apply this, similar to kind of like the e.l.f. I don't know, is it the powder brush? No, it's not the powder. It's like the complexion brush. Um, similar to that kind of idea, I'm getting eyeshadow on it. Similar to that kind of idea, I have that one too and I love it, that's what I normally use, but I'm doing, I'm going to do a review on these guys soon, so I thought I would try it out. Alright, so let's take... I'm going to use the back of my hand to apply it, and I just squirted a bunch into the cap accidentally. Love the packaging though, I love that it's not in a, um, uh, what do you call it, a bottle without a like pump or anything, because it's just such a bitch, like I swear to god. Alright, let's try it with that. This is the non-primer side. Alright, I'm ready to go. See you guys later. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This is supposed to be a demi-matte finish, I think. But I have heard a lot about this and heard that it's way more of a matte finish. So that is one coat of that guy. That's not bad. That's a good color match, actually. Which is honestly mildly surprising. Because I have a very hard time finding a light enough foundation. Major redness going on up here. All right, let's go on this side. Oh, phone meant to put it on silent. All right, so that is one coat. Let me zoom you in a little so you can see kind of like what one coat looks like. I don't know that it's coming up on camera as impressed with that, as impressed as I am with it on in person. I like it though. I do just a little more in like some trouble spots. Obviously on my forehead I've got some craziness going on there. Let's do that guy. Do that around the nose. And You really like, squeeze too much out and you're like, shit, where would I put it? So let's see how it builds. I get so freaking red around my nose, like. I don't normally put foundation on my forehead, to be honest, but I just happen to be having a breakout issue up there right now. So lucky you, you get to see it. Congrats, we're so close. All right, so that is that. I mean, I think the finish is great. I mean, I think it is nice. I'm really liking it, let me see you back. Really liking this. 
and I, I didn't feel like I, it's very lightweight. I don't feel like I'm wearing a ton of foundation. Um, I'm gonna set it with some powder real quick. This is the e.l.f. like tone correcting powder or something. It's just any kind of like pressed powder that doesn't have a skin tone color. You don't, I don't think you would have to set it with a powder if you didn't want to. I think I could have gotten away with it, but you know, I like to be sure. So yeah, I so far am really impressed. You know, I actually, I heard that it is really bad about kind of like sticking to dry skin. I'm not seeing a lot of that. I'm pretty impressed with it. So I am going to run my errands and all that. And I will check back with you in a couple of hours so I can give you like a little bit longer. I'm not gonna wear it for like the whole entire day, like until like 10 o'clock at night, because I just don't wear foundation that often. So, but I will give you another time update a couple hours later. So yeah, I will let you know then. All right. Hey everybody, I am back. I'm checking in. Or well, this is gonna be my only check-in after this. I will be not doing any more. I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> It still feels great. Let me, hold on, let me just figure out how long it's been. If I applied it at like 10 today, it's been four hours. So for four hours, I mean, I think it held up pretty okay. It hasn't oxidized on me, which is nice. That's always something that I have to worry about as like a really pale skin kind of thing, but it didn't do that. I feel like this is probably the best drugstore foundation I've ever had. Overall, I would definitely recommend this. I am, um, uh, tell us talk about price really quick. I think it was $13. I only paid 10 though because there was a coupon. So if you can get it as a coupon, definitely do because 13 is kind of expensive, but that's, I think that's kind of like, Revlon Colors Day price? No? Yes? No? It's not like unheard of for a drugstore foundation to be $13. I mean it is what it is. We live in a horrible time now. <laughs> I don't feel like it's stuck to any dry patches. I don't feel that. I did use a setting spray, the e.l.f. setting spray, and I only use primer on this half of my face. And in terms of that making a difference, I don't know that it really did. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that it really made a difference. That doesn't mean that, like, if you have a different primer than I used, that it won't make a difference for you, but it didn't for me. So that is my review for the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Pro Matte Foundation. It's quite a mouthful. And comment down below. Let me know if you've tried it, if you're gonna try it, because you should. I think it's really, I think you should. You should try it. Let me know what you think if you did. Um, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see stuff similar to this. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!